Hello, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to assemble the Rhino Rack. So if you remember my previous video, I found my old stuff on the garage. They're just stuck in there. So yep, now I have a higher garage. I can definitely fit one in here. So yep, come on, let's assemble it up. Okay, so let's unbox this one. Right the rack. So it has the list of the components in here. Should be straightforward, I hope. Well, we'll find out. These are the hands. Whoops. Whoops. I think this goes to the end. Thank you. 
this is single. This goes in the middle. Okay. I don't know. Okay, so the end product of this rack should be something like this. So I just lay it out on the floor so that I, I know um, where to bolt it. Alright, so I'm gonna flip this one out, screw it all together, then show you the finished product. Alright? Okay, so if we're gonna follow the instruction, we have to put this in here then there will be some screws the M5 by 16 mil I don't know which one are those but the rest are allen key head so we're gonna find out which one is which I guess this are the one. So I'm not sure, but let's try. I don't feel like that they're the right one, but those are the only Philip head. It's in there. I guess that's the one. They just have to work on the other end. So I just slide this one out in there. And that easy. I think these are the right ones, huh? Yep, okay. So just do the same on the other end, so... Yep. Okay, then you just have to put this in here. So just connect it. I don't see any screws, so... Yeah, so you just simply just slide it in place. Then it should connect to one of those. So, yep. Do the same on the other end. Okay, and then you just have to slide it in here. So I put it all upside down now and just have to connect it here it's all tight same on the other end Oops. okay slide it to screw it down so basically that's how it should look like upside down it looks good already it 
think. But yep. So let me just read the manual. What's next? Okay, and on the screws that you need to put in here on the panels or in the planks, they're in a separate bag. So like that. So it has the Allen key on it also. So let's start this one out. So with this one, you'll need to um, use some flat uh, washers on it. Oops. I'm not gonna tighten them that much yet, so. So that if I need to adjust the other end, I can adjust it. Okay, and just do the same on every side, all right? Okay, so I got an issue on one of this uh, hole in here. So it looks like the thread is stripped because it just falls in there. Weird. Well, I'll find out though. All right. Okay, so next we have to put this in this railing. I'm having issues with the middle uh, planks in here because the nut that goes inside of the actual plank it's not in there and I'm having trouble removing the tray where the nut goes uh, yep so this one mm. Mm. just rotate it if I can rotate it there you go then just slide it in place there you go And we'll just have to have any problem with that. There you go. So just put it in here. So I can't do this with one hand. I'll be right back. You have it. Should be tied well. And next we have to put this underneath. And these are for the universal plate. So I just have to snap it. And there we go. And that should be it for that. And just do all on four sides. Next we have to install the security plate. And it has an Allen key supplied with the actual bolts. Alright. Alright, so I got interrupted on assembling this one uh, because I'm missing some uh, screws. Uh, so I have to run loads quickly and get some. So I just got some uh, quarter bolts and nuts and washers. So I don't know. So I'm missing two. Uh, it's gonna be the one that you put in here. So. I temporarily just put the the T-bolt in here 
So um, I'll remove that and then just put uh, the regular nuts and bolts in there. All right. Okay, so there you have it. It's fully assembled. This is the Rhino Rock platform. So I think this is the 48 or 30 something by whatever. I'll put it here somewhere in the screen. But yeah, so I still have a lot of hardware left. Uh, even I'm missing some. So I replace this stuff. So this, they're missing um, the, the actual screws. It's supposed to be this type, but I only received two of this type. So I, I don't know what's up with that. And kind of confused also because if you look at the back of this, so it looks like it has like a fastener in there uh, that has a tread, but the other one, there's nothing. It's just a hole in there. So, so with this one, with the middle one, so if you can see I'm missing one bolt in there because I did not put it on because I cannot pull out the tray where you put the knot on so that you can tread it. So, but I think it's secured. I'm not really gonna load this one up with anything. So, but I'll put something in there just to properly secure it. All right. Okay, so after a couple minutes here, got it installed. Okay, so there you have it. The Rhino Rack is installed. The, this is the Pioneer Platform Rack. So there you have it. So it looks nice. So it fits well. So I have another plan on that one, so somewhere it needs somewhere. So it looks good, I like it. Yep, I love it. Okay, and don't forget to subscribe in my channel if you like this video. Please hit that like button, share also. Don't forget about the giveaway. It will be in the description below. Uh, again, thank you for watching.